This is Sir Richard Branson, self-made billionaire, knighted, owner of Virgin Airlines, Virgin Mobile, and a pioneer in spaceflight with Virgin Galactic. You know, let's build our spaceship in the shape of an aircraft. This is Bugsy Sailor, Michigan native, MSU grad, who also has a crazy idea. I launched a New Year's resolution to have a beer with Sir Richard Branson. But the likelihood of them ever meeting, let alone sharing a beer, is virtually zero. So how did this happen? And how's it it's going well? Cheers. It's fantastic. Uh, well so thank you for your time yeah, and enjoy well, your stay in Michigan. Fantastic. So. And uh, congratulations <laughs> on pulling this off. <laughs> Let's rewind to 2010. So the whole concept started from the question of if I could have a beer with anybody, who would it be? But Richard Branson, someone I've always kind of looked up to in terms of his entrepreneurship. He started a website, beerwithbranson.com. I get a lot of a lot of grief just from some of my friends and things. You know, it's like, you know, oh, you're obsessed with Richard Branson. Four years went by with no contact. Then Bugsy learned the billionaire was coming to Grand Rapids. We launched the website, um, tried to do some of the networking thing. You know, who do I know in Grand Rapids? Then it happened. Lorna Schultz, who arranged for Branson to speak in Grand Rapids, saw the website. Actually, when I mentioned it to uh, you know his staff, they were familiar with his website. Now fast forward to Tuesday. But I'd like to know if, if you could have a beer with anybody, uh, who, who would you have a beer with? Well, I, 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 like, I like the idea of having a beer with a young entrepreneur. <laughs> All right, I, I appreciate it's, that. Uh, it's quick, it's what I expected, but you know, him actually uh, taking a minute to sit down with me is fantastic. This is one New Year's resolution. Sailor can check off his list. Mission accomplished. In Grand Rapids, Steve Zagman, WZZM 13 News.